Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome to an entirely new Let's Play by me, Robobin. I uh, think this is a very niche game, and I hope you enjoy it all. This is called Africa, or Hakuna Matata, since uh, it totally went ahead and called it the non-English one. So I basically was cheap or practical, however you want to look at it, and bought myself the Korean version of this game, imported it, and it's all in English. And it cost about $60 less than the uh, English version that was published by Natsume. People's complaints about this game are uh, the loading times. I have a solid state drive in here, so I have no idea w how long this actually takes to load, but title screen definitely takes the longest. Wow, it is taking a long time to load. The object of this game is your photographers and you're in Africa. And National Geographic has called you to take pictures of animals and they grade you on how well you do. So let's start. There's no online options. There used to be. You used to be able to share photos with people. Options is absolutely nothing. Music volume. See, I didn't find the loading times too bad. Uh, this is a database that we don't have anything yet. And Safari mode. Once you take pictures, you can actually save them onto a USB, and uh, I don't think there's anything on here yet. This is a new game for me. And uh, save them on USB, and I'll put them up in a link in the description as I make them, because you totally have to like check them out on your own time, because this game is fantastic for emulating a camera. Alright, let's start. Am I going to be a boy or a girl? Oh, look, he's from France. Eric, male, 27, France. I'm actually going with Anna. She's from the US. What is the guy? Journalist. I didn't realize he was a journalist. Huh. Anyways, we are going to call ourselves... Uh, I should totally just go with the... Robin or Robobin. Let's go with Robin. Not that she really looks like a ra Robin, but, you know. Duma Step Base Camp, 10, 18 a.m. Sadly, there's no... There, there are in-game days in this... in this thing. We finally arrived at the Manyana... I hope I'm saying that right. Manyaha Conservation Area. Base Camp is all set up, so let's start exploring right away. Look forward to working with you, Robin. As do I, Eric. The Jumbo Navi interface is all set up and ready to go. There may be messages from head office, so be sure to check your email. You can operate Jumbo Navi with the computer on the table. You tell us about it all the time. So this is our interface, our emails. This is basically where we get our tasks. And this one is very boring, so I'm definitely going to cut some of it out. Mania uh, Conservation Area, Africa's Last Frontier. We are the first to research Manya Manyanga. I hope I'm saying that right. Please let me know if anybody is watching this and you know how to pronounce it. I have a feeling it's maybe Swahili, which is sure to be inhibited, inhabited by many kinds of wild animals. When you find one, capture it on film and reply to this email. We're looking forward to your reports. So this one here. And photos, we don't have anything yet. Shopping. Everything's too rich for our bloods. A job request already came in, did it? Let's begin by surveying animals in the nearby vicinity. Robin, this is for you. Ooh, a camera, thank you. Even though I'm a... Journalist? Zoologist, zoologist. Titsy... Type F. Binoculars. GPS map. Camera case over here. Other tools in the trunk. I'd like to go too, but I need time to sort our equipment. Can you just go with our guide, James? He should be waiting just outside. Have a safe trip. 
Okay, so I'm gonna, um, I'll show you guys a bit about it and then after this I will cut away from it because if you're not the one driving, do my step. If you're not the one driving, Jambo, Robin, welcome to Manyaya, Manyanga Conservation Area. I'll drive the car, Robin. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable in the back seat. All right, so a bit of information about this. If, if you're not the one driving and I drive like a wild maniac in this game, the, um, the two, Eric and, and, oh, I can't even think of his name anymore. I'm sorry, buddy. Hippo pool. This is the hippo pool. Nobody's home right now, but the hippos often bathe here. Anyways, this guy, both drive like grannies that have forgotten their spectacles at home. So, it's very rare that they don't let me drive, and I can't wait until they do that because they take the longest way around possible. <laughs> I take these things so fast, you'll see soon. So, oh, it's not, it's a tutorial one, so I can't actually use my binoculars in the, until he tells me, I guess. This is the Duma step, and there's five different areas. There's five different areas. Not many animals here. Let's try the Awali Oasis. Where there's water, there's life, right? Now, this has been translated... Uh, I have the Korean version of this game. There's Korean and Chinese, and Natsume uh, published this in English. The uh, English isn't great, it's a little awkward, but the game itself is so fantastic. I absolutely love the poop out of this game. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it with me, or watching me play it. And give it a chance, not just the first episode, please, because the first one is just basically like, that's Wally Oasis. Just like I said, plenty of animals here. Too far to see? Try the binoculars. Press the R1 button. Yeah, 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 okay. There. There's dr Maasai giraffes. So basically, as you binocular things, come on. Thompson gazelles. Give me the zebras. Plain zebras. I think that's it for that. Let's get a little closer. It could get a bit bumpy, so hang on. So the guys that are with you will identify animals for you the first time around, which is basically the way that things sometimes show up for quests. So you need to use the binoculars to kind of guide over them, which is a cool and frustrating mechanic. More frustrating than cool, maybe. Because sometimes I'll spot something way before, and then they're like, Oh my god, did you see this? And I'm like, yeah, we already saw it. You and I both looked at it. Oali Oasis. By the way, Robin, do you know how to use the camera? I do know how to use the camera. Point camera, yes, thank you. I'm gonna be editing this out, and we'll get to some uh, actual work. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys soon once I'm out of this card, done the tutorial. Good luck. Snap plenty of animals. Snap shots of plenty of animals. All right, so yeah, I have the crappiest camera. This is the, the basic, this is how far it zooms. Delio. Here, there's a... Zebra forest. Ooh, there's the zebra, actually. That's really close. Hey, buddy. You're gonna... Yep. I figured that was the case. All right. So we're gonna take pictures of the three animals that are here. Basically, we don't have to worry too much about how close they are at the moment. Let's see how close this zebra gets to us before he realizes. Oh, no, he's gonna drink. Alright. Anyways. Sorry, animals. Zebras will generally. Can I 
climb this yet? Oh, really? You're not gonna let me climb it? S certain trees in this are climbable. But clearly not at the moment. Okay, let's take a picture of a giraffe and be out of here. Oh, there's also a vulture. I think those are the lapid faced vultures as well. But yeah, with the crappiest, crappiest possible camera, you're not looking to get anything too close. Mm. That giraffe is far off. Oh, we just missed the. We just missed the uh, vulture landing. Oh, there's another one. We'll get that guy. All right, where are the giraffes? We'll take a picture of this guy. It's not really important at the moment to getting uh, getting great pictures because this is just a tutorial. Ah, let's stand up. And you run slow as molasses. Considering you have to sometimes run from uh, dangerous beasties, it's pretty pretty crazy how slow you run. Let's get out of here, buddy. Yes. Oh, you're going to drive us back. All right, everyone. We're going to quick edit this and uh, see you back at camp. Bye-bye. Oh, the music, though. I mean, it's it's pretty basic and and Jurassic Parky, but it was all orchestrated completely by a full, full harmonics orchestra, which is amazing. The credits show, show the... Uh, the orchestra on the end, which I think is very cool. I'm so excited for you guys joining me on this. It is a camera game. It is like... It's not going to be crazy amounts of action just yet. But, uh... It's Africa. How can you not love Africa? So back in April, I actually traveled to Africa with my mom. We went and were tourists super tourists and uh, went on photo safaris and everything and I'll point out when things are really accurate and I'll point out that when things are not but this the landscape is very true to what South Africa looks like even the garbage cans they got they did right for the campsites Many types of animals live in the area. Good luck tomorrow, too. Thank you, buddy. What's his name? James. His name's is James. How was it out in the field? Find lots of animals? Transfer your photos to Jumbo Navi. Also, send photos of each animal to head office. We will do that. Transfer photos. Let's do that. Yep. We'll send a picture of... Ha! <laughs> That's funny. We'll send this one. All right, zebra's out of the way. Let's send a giraffe. <laughs> uh, it's not important. The rank in this one is not important. It's just to basically, this allows us to get the word I'm looking for. This allows us to unlock... Oh, it didn't get it. Alright, let's try that one again with uh, this guy. Yeah, money. Lapid face vulture. Alright, so it was that. And the last one is the gazelles. I love that there's an airplane sound when it flies it off. Alright, cool. Thompson Gazelle. So basically, that makes these field guides unlock. So we got Zebra, Thompson Gazelle, Maasai Giraffe, and the Lapid-Faced Vulture. 
Yeah, I really don't find the, um, we'll see. Okay. You have to transfer photos to Jumbled Navi or they won't be saved. Take care to transfer any important photos, yeah. By the way, prepare to map the area. We can fill the map with data and the surroundings. Great first day out there. Let's rest up and get an early start for tomorrow. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. I'm just going to delete everything, but this is going to be edited out. Not that space is an issue, but you don't need the early pictures. They are solely there for... I can't wait till I get my first camera. Good morning, Robin. The real work starts today. I'll leave the survey log on the bookshelf. You may want to review it from time to time. So this has our diary in it. My survey begins. At long last, the Manya, Man, Manyanga, Manyanga Conservation Area, Africa's last frontier. Manyanga remains untouched by researchers, so who knows what to expect as far as wildlife or the ecosystem goes. Certainly not me. We pitched camp by, on the vast grasses of the Duma Steppe. Today I rode with James. He's an upbeat guy and knows the lay of the land. A good guy to have on my side. Oh, hey, nice. Days of surveys. Oh, cool. Let I'm going to try my base, my best to, uh... Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys. I don't need to go through this with you. Photo storage. Let's see what... We got mail. All right, research required. Herd of Thompson Gazelle. Hi Robin, nice to meet you. Since you're doing research on the Duma Steppe, I have a favor to ask you. Are you familiar with an animal called the Thompson Gazelle? They favor flat plains with a wide view and live in herds of several dozen or more. Could you photograph one of these herds for me so we can study their behavior on the Duma Steppe? Totally can. Let's do that first. All right. So these are the missions that we get. Next we need to photograph a herd of gazelles. We'll have to look for a chance to capture as many gazelles as possible in one shot. Yes. James will take us there. Jambo Robin, we need a photo of Thompson gazelle this time, right? Let's head to the umbrella tree. The gazelle herds often gather there. Go ahead and hop him back. Off we go. So yes, I was in Africa in... If you ever want me to stop the car, press L2. For your own safety, you can't get out of the car until it comes to complete stop. Press R2 and I'll drive again. Press the O button to talk to me. So yeah, he can give me, um... He can give little tips and stuff like that. Oh, the hippos are in today. Robin, look at that. See, the hippos are bathing at the hippo pool. It's a great chance for some photos. But hippos, hippos can be dangerous. Be careful when you take close shots. So, let's get out. Um, if an animal gets too close to you, the screen will flash. We don't need anything too crazy of these guys. Let's see. Oh, you're not going to step up, eh? Oh man, I can't wait until I get my good camera. <laughs> the pictures that you can take in this are insane. Alright, we don't actually need anything crazy just yet, so we'll go away for now. Uh, let's stand up. Robin. We don't want any hippos coming after us. Let's take a detour. So that marks our fifth. Ooh, lappet-faced vultures. Like the ones we saw yesterday. Oh, topies. Actually, we can totally stop the car and, 
and grab some. All right, continue on, James. My good man. Too many topies. Topi? One topi, many topi? I love this game, but I really love Africa. I wish I was back there so badly. I traveled to Zimbabwe, Botswana, and South Africa. James, what are you doing? You're ruining my shot. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. Close to the umbrella tree. Alright. So we have to get a picture of Thompson Gazelles. Now, umbrella tree, thank you. So when you come up to a um, landmark, When you come to, up to a landmark, it'll it'll stop and tell you because usually there are animals that are around that area. I think I have to get three or more gazelle in this picture, if possible. Where'd these two go? I feel like there's some, I can hear them. You spend a lot of time in the bushes in this game. Hi, buddies. And I know I will be doing a ton of editing. Ooh. Oh, hey, buddy. That should work. Yeah, I know I will be doing a ton of editing because a lot of this is the waiting game. Aw, you're so cute. So are you. Are you, any of you guys gonna come closer? Come on, guys. Get into the frame. Looks like those are my chances. Seeing as you're, ah, uh, I'll get one more with you. Coming back this way. And then we'll call it a day. That should be good. So yeah, I can check these pictures. Very nice. So I think what was my mission says two or more Thompson Gazelle, and we have totally done that. Especially with this one. I think this is our money shot here. This one could be it too. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's go back to James. I don't want to scare any of them. Alright, let's go back this way. Alright, James, let's go. gazelle but yeah I don't stress too much over uh... Ugh. there's usually cheetah up on that hill so we'll go look later we'll put the hippo in 
and uh, the Topi. Oh, James, you drive like a 80 year old woman. I would be taking this thing like at 90 kilometers an hour. So yeah, Topi and Hippos are our next one. Oh, I can also actually get a picture of these guys. All right, James. Robin, how was the safari day? Be sure to capture it on a film. <laughs> oh, don't take me inside. I just realized that I can capture vervet monkeys. Uh, we need a photo of a Thompson gazelle. No, I don't want to go in! No, what are you doing? Stop! Let me out. All I want <laughs> is a picture of these guys. Alright. Bye, James. I don't need you right now. Transferring photos. Alright, let's send this off. Uh, what did we say the, the good one was? Well, this one? Let's send this one. Nice. I'm gonna try and go for all A's. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually possible. But uh, so far, so good. Maasai Giraffe. That'll be the next one we take. All right. Last thing before I let you guys go, and I hope you tune in next time, is uh, putting these guys in. <laughs> oh no, a bee! No! My perfect record already marred. Oh well. We'll get these guys. And another bee. Oh well. I'm not too worried. Our next job is to photograph a Maasai giraffe drinking water. When giraffes drink water, they spread their front legs and drink from a standing position. Stay out of notice and wait for the giraffe to become thirsty. Alright, let's see. Does this thing actually... record our... safari log? Oh no, it doesn't. Alright. <laughs> So we don't have to worry about, um, we don't have to worry about those, that mission one grading me some bees. Good. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I will be doing a ton more of this, and we will be photographing the Maasai giraffe next, so tune in very shortly. This is Robobin, signing out.